Let's talk about clipping masks in Adobe InDesign. A clipping mask is a little different in InDesign than it is in Photoshop or Illustrator. Basically everything is, is already kind of inside of a clipping mask. It's just a matter of putting another object into it. So everything's built out with frames. Every border is basically a frame. Even images have frames. Uh, we'll show you how to do a clipping mask with text here in a second. But what you need to do is either bring in an image like by using file place, or if you already have an image in here, and let's say I want this inside of this triangle, what I need to do is just cut this image or copy this image and then right click this triangle and hit paste into. So I'm putting the image inside of the triangle. Now that it's inside the triangle, it's effectively a clipping mask. And anytime you see this little circle, that means you can move an image around inside there. So I could, I could move it around just like this. I could use my arrow keys and kind of bump it around until it looks the way that I want it to look or fits the way that I want it to fit. The other thing you can do is when I click on that, I can actually scale that image up and down uh, and move it around just like that. So that's a way to work with the image underneath the essentially the clipping mask, right? Now up here we have some text and I could hit paste into up here, but it just pastes it into the square rectangle of the text box, not the actual text. So what we need to do with this text is actually create outlines. We're gonna go up to type down to create outlines. That's shift command O or shift control O if you're on Windows. Once we've created outlines, it's created a compound shape out here. We can right click on this compound shape, which is basically shapes group together and hit paste into. Now our image, if we can grab it, remember that little circle, find that circle and we can move our image around just like this. So we can bring that image up and if we double click on this, we can actually grab the image underneath a little bit easier. Uh, but we, yeah, we can bring it up, find the ocean, maybe put it in here wherever you'd like, start to move it around with your arrow keys. But regardless, we've created essentially a clipping mask with an image inside of text right there. So now there's one more thing. There's like a little glitch and this shows up in Illustrator as well. Can you see the little black outline around this text? I don't even know if I can make it any larger. It's always really small, but it's kind of like a little, little glitch. Uh, that's because there's a fill underneath and it just, because it matches up, there's there's just a little glitch right at the edge. So what we need to do is just remove that fill completely. So click on this object. It's like the shapes below the image, and we need to just click none on that. And I hope maybe you saw that that just disappeared. So if we click black, it looks like a black outline. If we click none, it disappears. So I would highly recommend, if you don't want an outline on that, to uh, get rid of the fill. So that that's a clean edge to your clipping mask. That same thing actually might be happening down here. Well, the fill over here is pink, so maybe we don't see it. Let's make it black. I think it is happening. Yeah, it is. So same thing down here. Anything with a clipping mask, always take that fill to none. That way, whatever you're clipping, even if it's a shape inside there uh, that you've copied, pasted into, or it's an image, that edge of that clipping mask will be nice and clean, and it won't be muddied up with the fill of the shape of the clipping mask itself. That's how to make clipping masks here in Adobe InDesign.